Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing I don't need no help, I don't need opinion, so don't waste my time then I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things I gotta just let it all out, I'm talking about the shit they've been talking about Telling me I should do this, telling me I should do that Telling me, telling me things about rap Talking the truth and that stabbing my back, they will knock me off track No, no, too many things have been building, been hard to deal with, I just been drinking Remember my moves in the past, I'm wondering what was I thinking Lately I'm living in fear, wondering what if the end is so near All of this shit going on, the shootings are strong One shot to the head and I'm gone, I'm losing control But I can't let it go cause I'm trying to get more And I've been in the moment, I've been in the zone And I'm moving alone, I don't pick up the phone When my family call, I've been doing it wrong And I don't know what's happening, trying to get what i just been imagining Getting close and i just been examining All of the fake shit the game has been packaging Most of the people are so close-minded They go into school and they work in a job But they don't even like it I won't be put in a box Nobody telling me what I should rock Nobody telling me what I should drop Cause I do what I want and just know I don't stop Recording till four in the morning They snoring, I'm pouring my soul into every story I'm writing, producing, I mix it, I master I'm building my craft and I'm not looking back I've been going doing things I wanna do when I want to Introducing first. I can't even talk this bill. Here is Antihero S O S. This is Overload. We are back. Episode one. Season, I think, four, three. I don't even know what we're at. But it's episode one. This man is not happy. This past Sunday, make him wait. He got in the ring with Rip Impact. And Rip Impact with the flukiest move of all time, defeated him. Uh, by the way, what's up, Chris? How's two of the staples Steve Brown. of NSW. Two of the staples of Ontario Wrestling, and SOS and Rip Impact. An incredible contest that was at Make Em Wait. From Stoville, Ontario, incredible. weighing in at 200. It was 30 miles. seconds. What are you talking about? Yeah. And Rip won. That's not the incredible. Iron Cowboy. Well, Gunnar Lang is someone we've seen in both singles and tag competition in the past here in NSW. Another year, another dollar for the Cowboy. And Gunnar Lang. Big time contest here against right now. SOS is not happy. Is SOS ever happy? Believe me, I've seen him happy many occasions. And someone that you know all too well, Steve Brown. The Champ and SOS, long-time associations, not just in NSW, but all across the province. Ever. One, two, three. BFFs, or former... That's <laughs> dirty. Yeah, former tag champions, former six-man tag champions. That's a sanitary. All right, let's play. Multiple, numerous singles championships. Something that Gunnar Lang has yet to see in NSW. Well, oh, we're going to see if uh, Gunnar Lang can live up to the Iron Cowboy nickname. If he can go the distance here with SOS, certainly one of the most accomplished wrestlers in NSW history. Definitely on the Mount Rushmore of new school wrestling. Tying the cowboy up into a pretzel here. Using the ropes to his advantage, SOS. All right. Start out of play. I don't know if you know huh? this, but uh, right. Gunnar Lang was trained by Rip Impact. I've seen Gunnar Lang in action quite a few times. Always very kind. Uh, always very helpful. A student of the game. Oh, Too many God. games there, though. That's a big mistake, if you ask me. What was that? Trying to get a laugh at the expense of SOS, and he paid for it. Gunner Lang, leapfrog. Seems to have a game plan here. I think he's found a weakness, maybe. 
for SOS. Steve, what do you think? Oh, twisting him up. He's just getting like saddling oh, up on God. SOS and taking him for a ride. Brett, this is illegal. Rolls him up. Two. Near fall for Gunnar Lang. Never underestimate the Iron Cowboy. That used to be Hacker. Very crafty. That's not cool. That's not cool. That's not cool. I told you he's having some fun at the expense. Not a lot to lose here for Gunnar Lang and NSW thus far. So, oh, disrespectful from SOS. Not surprised at all, Steve. That's just how things go. You could hear that echoing. Come on, cowboy. And SOS connected there. Nothing illegal about that headbutt, but certainly holding on to the hair. He wasn't really holding it. He was kind of combing it for him with his fingers. Oh, SOS unload. A little payback maybe earlier from some of that jaw jacket from the Iron Cowboy. Fish hook in there on behind the back of the official. That's the experience in the position. Well, Steve, you know that Gunnar Lang's not going to go down without a fight here. Maybe the biggest on, singles competition match, singles contest he's had in SW history for himself. Come on, this one's for the diamond Big time tiger. opportunity. He just said that one was for the diamond tiger. Yeah, Come on. What? And we're not talking about Kobe Durst. Three. Rest. Yes, we Wait. know that who Kobe he's Durst is once oh. represented by oh. the one and only Kyle Davenport. You know, you know thinking of his opponent, that's it. That's it. I didn't want. I didn't want. Hey, ref, why don't you count a little faster, huh? Who hired this ref? Who hired this ref? Brad Meyer is one of the top officials in Ontario today. Believe me, he is. Uh, he's okay. Elbow right to the back of the neck there from SOS. Gunner Lang trying to get some wits about him here. Reversal. Stop. What do we got here? Whoa, whoa, that was impressive. He got lucky on that one. Each time I see Gunner Lang more and more impressed, T Bone Suplex overhead. Sent SOS for a ride. Cowboy in control now. Reverse in the corner, SOS. Knees. Got the knees up in the last second there. Right to the shoulder. Oh, oh, oh. Great positioning from SOS. Nudges him back to the center of the ring. Oh, no. Taking one out of the playbook of rip impact, maybe. No, cannonball. Delete. Trademark maneuver from SOS. Hanging the cowboy out to dry. <laughs> not quite, not quite. Pull him back up for a little more punishment. SOS having fun at the expense of the Iron Cowboy, Gunner Lang. Like I said, Steve, not going down easy here. Against one of your BFFs, self-admittedly. Yes. What does a loss to Rip Impact do for the headspace of SOS? Where does that put Come him on, in the baby. position here in NSW? You, you saw what it did. Immediately begged for a rematch. And Rip said he will get a rematch. And Rip's going to choose the match. So next, next show, next big event, it's going to be Rip. It's going to be SOS. We don't know what kind of match yet. We know it's coming. That's if SOS can get behind. Gunner Lang here this week. Gunner Lang. He is ready to take his guns to Tom. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. That's it. It's Apodem. What's the word? Apodem. Help me out here. Help my brother out. Anti hero. What is it? 
anyways. Oh, I'm not yes. excited. I'm stuttering. Hakuroshi. Trying to send a message here, not only to Rip Impact, but to everyone on the NSW roster. Keep it Rip. They're going to go two out of three falls. Impact. So I think uh, right now we're going to head to uh, a break and we'll be right back. Stay with us, folks. NSW Overload continues after this. of NSW Overload. We're joined by our broadcast colleague, Bill Chase. Introducing first. Steve Brown here in the announce booth joining myself. Of 300 pounds. They are the co-holders of the NSW Brass Cycles Championship. They are Mr. Overload, Andrew Love, the Psychonaut, Travis Moore. They are the Steve, you've had your problems with the Gnarly Boys since their formation here in NSW, but uh, now co-holders of that title. That title, there, I fought in bloody wars. Whole rope. Extreme matches to win that title. I was witness to many and of them. to watch these guys saunter around with that title. I'm not gonna lie, it was created for me because I'm a marketer. And their opponents. Extremely now, disrespectful. Yeah, so a combined weight of 380 pounds. They are the team of Jax Williams and Robbie Cosmos. They are Millennial Falcon. Well, Steve, we've seen Millennial Falcon here before in NSW, a new coming tag team in the tag team rakes and certainly looking to make a big impression in 2021. Hey, getting a win over these two girls would be very well. I'll tell you right now, Chris, I love their game. Well, do these guys want to be singles champions? Do they want to be tag team champions? I'm not really sure the mission here of the Gnarly Boys, but uh, I don't think that uh, these guys here, the Millennium Falcon, they don't look to back down in any way. Great physique here on both young men, both up and coming prospects uh, looking to make their mark here in NSW. And I look forward to seeing the progress of both those young men. You know what? I can't. And not that long ago, those two guys were in the same, the same boat. And now look at the path they've chosen. Yeah. And how they're able to hold on to the grass. I do not understand. Pretty Ricky, he was champion. He had a defended 24 7, and he did. And they've adopted that. Uh, but to go back, seasons beat him. Big. Young Love. This past high paper view, make him wait three. Save Travis was a baby come out in a four-way. Help from Corey Stone, but they still managed to keep it up. Now, Young Love, on the other hand, in the pre-show of Make a Play, he lost to Marcus Gold. So, well, what's that going to do for Marcus Gold? And what's it going to do for both these young men if they could score a tag team victory here this week? Hey, we're looking at the NSW... 2020 taking the year. The Gnarly Boys. One, who voted for the Gnarly Boys? I'm sure all their friends, all their family. Did you vote for the Gnarly Boys? I certainly did not. I, yes. Come on. 
I saw those results, it blew my mind. Now you see Cosmos in the ring. Seeing a little taste of what he's made of. Ah, oh, straw cradle. Whoa, and went for a bridge. Whoa, Young Love knew he was in trouble right there, Steve. You got him, man. Similar size and stature, you can see uh, Cosmos certainly uh, looking to make an impression. Incredible agility. Certainly a student of the game here. We've seen Millennial Falcon before. They took on uh, Disorderly, what's it? Uh, divide and Conquer. I always call them Disorderly Content. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely disorderly once you get Clay Wilson in there. Absolutely. A young love and control. Can he sneak a victory? And almost did right there, Steve. But they took them on. Had a good showing. Oh, Jax Wood, we've seen before. I say I know him. Or you know. Well, we've seen him in singles competition and in tag team competition, certainly. Now, once forming the Millennium Falcon, I can say full heartedly, I'm, I'm impressed with both these youngsters. But you can see uh, Travis Moore, young love. They know when to seize on the opportunity, Steve. Yeah. Uh, again, I'm going to go back to the fact that they're a team of the year. Uh, I don't want to take anything away from both the youngsters. They certainly have coordination. I just don't agree with their antics and their attitude personally myself. Um, especially knowing how things started in their young careers and uh, the path that they've chosen. Oh, that was nasty. Psycho tripper Travis Moore. Questionable tactics there. Fish hooking the young man. You know what? You know what really makes me mad? It's they are better team day after day, match after match. The fact of the matter is, they are the coal holders of a singles championship. They cannot defend it in pace. Well, it's going to be something else when they have not just one X on their back, two X's, two guys co-holding that championship. That 24-7 rule, anything goes at any time. They better look over their shoulder on the way out of this one. Ooh. Disrespectful from Young Love. You can see the head games there. And he fell right into the trap, and his partner is paying for that one. Cosmos. And on the receiving end of some serious double team action here. He desperately needs to get over and make that tag, Steve. Come on, camera. Come on. Travis Moore, really proud of himself there. Come on. You know, I'm not really a fan of the, you know, goody two shoes type wrestlers. But uh, anybody that goes up against uh, the gnarly boys, I want them to win. That was very impressive. Well, I'm sure you and many viewers at home would like to see a big win here from Millennium Falcon this week. But that boot found the mark here. He has a body. He has a body of an alien. Splash to the back. And with the back turn of the official, John Clark, the gnarly boys take advantage once again. Beautiful scent on. Nice execution there from Travis Moore. You can see a lot more tag team cohesiveness from the Gnarly Boys in this contest so far, Steve. Well, they got something to prove, right? Young, young Love, Andrew Love, whatever he wants to be called. He lost to Mark Gold. Very unhappy about that. Same a lot of people consider that an upset. No, yeah. Marcus Gold, Gold, another youngster trying to prove his worth here in NSW. Yes. Cosmos, can he put it together? Beautiful. He got the tag that time. There we go, Jack Swim. This, this guy's impressed me a lot. Everything I've seen of him. Certainly a young man with unlimited potential. 
He's got the size, the power, and the look. Just needs a little bit of that seasoning, but he's going to town here on the Gnarly Boys. Look at that. Double Northern Lights. Incredible power, incredible. He busted open. Is he busted open? Busted nose maybe here. And oh, oh, Travis Morse sinks it in. It's not looking good for Williams. Very impressive. As he realizes he's busted, he's not too impressed, Steve. Tag out, but Cos that might be a mistake. We've seen Cosmos take a pounding earlier. Obviously concerned for his partner. Like I said, Steve, big mistake, and he's gonna, I can't see, he's very close to the ropes. If you could only just reach over, he could break that hole, and it's Young Love going to the top now. Young Love just what are you doing? broke up his own partner. That's gonna cost them, cost the Gnarly Boys big time here. Williams tagged back in they now. They're bickering at each other. Well, if you could hold on to that submission a little bit longer, it could have been a victory for the Gnarly Boys. They have something else planned here, Steve. Oh, no. Oh, no. How long can he hold him? More going up top. Oh, and he paid for it. Knees right to the face. Williams, the power man, hoists him up. Beautiful tag combination. Will it be enough? Two, three, and it is. Oh my God. Here are your winners. Tag the team Lady of the year. Falcon. Defeated. Tag team of the year upset here in tag team competition on overload. That's an upset. That is an upset. What does that mean for the Brass Knuckles Championship? What does that mean for the Gnarly Boys as a tag team going forward here in 2021? Cosmos and Williams, they earned the victory this week. Big time. Real proud of themselves. No back down from him. Very impressive. Oh, my God. I love it. What a way to end things. On that note, Chris, for you, for me, for Bill... This has been overload. Look at that. Look at that. Tug of war. Tug of war. Not just as you predicted, uh, Steve. You lost, well, Last time. Let's see. We're going to find out what, st what lies ahead for the Gnarly Boys in the coming weeks. Join us next week. Okay, cut on that.